spoken to a few of you that have been here for a number of years in different vacations and have taken part in the ski school. You're familiar with it and how it works. But for those of you who are new to it, how, how many, I was just going to ask, how many of you yeah. have not been been here before? Me. Okay. Sort of. So, so anyway, um, what we call our ski week is the iconic Taos experience. Not just the ski school experience, but just the iconic Taos experience. <clears throat> when Ernie first developed this, uh, the ski area, right from the very get-go, based on his European background and experience, and the childhood nature of a Taos, he said, we need to make sure that everybody participates in the ski week program or, or what he, he what he invented as a ski week program, and um, not to go into a lot of background history and whatnot. You can read about that in Ski Pioneers or whatever. <laughs> but, but what it is, it's a it's a program where um, it goes from Sunday through Friday, and with the size of this group, we're probably going to have some people go in the morning and some in the afternoon. Sure. But one thing that's new this year, instead of a two-hour lesson from ten till twelve and one till three, one till four, yeah, three, it's an hour and a half lesson from 9.30 to 12. Okay. So it's actually gotten a half an hour longer, which adds up to... Two and a half. No, no. Yeah, it's a half an hour longer, so, okay. so it's a two and a half hour lesson, yes. Wow. So anyway, um, and lesson is a bit of a misnomer because on Sunday we divide up into groups based on your skiing ability, your interests. Um, Monday, we kind of get to know everybody how they ski. Monday, we do a little bit of shuffling around if needed. And you, you're with the same instructor for the whole week. And it's as much of a guiding experience as it is a skiing experience. And the beauty of it is, is that, as I mentioned earlier, Taos is a fairly challenging mountain. And so it's intimidating for some of the people who are even first time beginners through lower level skiers, through very advanced experts. We have a lot of, uh, one of the few ski schools that I know of, and I've been involved with a number of them, where we have such a high percentage of really advanced skiers participate in the ski school. Not just ski week, but in ski school in general. Wow. Just because of the nature of the mountain and the reputation of the, of the school. But people look at it and they go, yeah, I want to, how, where do, how do I get to that train? How do I get here? So you have a whole six days, a whole week of being with the same person, the same group, and kind of coaching along the way and skiing terrain that is applicable to your ability level. And I would say the vast majority of people at the end of the ski week are like, I never thought I would yes. be coming down that. <laughs> you know, and it's not a matter of pushing people down, it's a matter of gradually evolving into that terrain, building the confidence, and skiing terrain that you normally wouldn't ski later on in the week by developing the skills to be able to do it. And so that was Ernie's whole concept, and it's just proved true. And many years ago, a lot of ski areas had ski weeks. And they've all fallen to the wayside. We're probably I, I, the only one that I can think of that still does it, a classic ski week. A lot of ski areas do, <clears throat> what you, like camps type of thing. It's a four-day camp or five-day camp that's specific to powder or bumps or something like that. But just as far as week in and week out, it's the, the whole ski week program. So I would say that Again, what I started with is the best way to experience Taos and get the most out of your trip and the most out of your vacation is by taking a ski week. And uh, not just a sales pitch, but it really, the difference is between people in your group, yeah, people in your group that, that, that say, no, I'm just going to go out on my own, and people that participated in the ski week. At the end of the week, the guys were in the ski week go, man, I'm coming. This is amazing. I'm coming back here. Yeah. You know, whereas the people that were on their own going, okay, next year we're going to go to this. Yeah. You know, and well, you don't ever have to look at a trail map. They know what you're doing. Exactly. They yeah. know your ability, and they take you, and you, you advance as you advance and, as and a the group. Conditions as well. and, the conditions. and the conditions. They know yeah. they know stuff that a trail map or no one else is going to show you. Exactly. So I have a question. Yeah. Um, 
So uh, our party's next Friday, our cell, first cell party, and I know we went to her day before. Can you email me something? Because I don't have a lot of information to communicate with people about this. I've been talking it up quite a bit, but okay. is there like a, because I would, I'd like to make a little flyer or something. Right there. Do you, have a, do you have a video besides the one we're making right now? This is the first one right here. <laughs> I, need I have, didn't realize. Hey. I, I just need, <laughs> have, I need have something to hand them and say, yeah. you need to be on this. Let, let him finish. I'll put this okay. on YouTube and send it to you. If you don't want <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I would strongly encourage you to, to encourage the oh, folks that are yeah. coming out on your trip and just say, look, Talski Valley, and we're in different times now. Back in Ernie's day, it was, you come to Talski Valley, you're in ski week, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. You're staying the Thunderbird, St. Bernard, the Kandahar, any of these places, the only thing they sold was a package that included the ski week. Uh -huh. Well, really? you didn't have a choice. Yeah, I mean, it was free. And, <laughs> and so I'm, uh, it, you know, we, we're not at that point now, but it's, it's the best way to experience it and for the people to walk out of here going, that was the best ski trip I've ever had. Yeah, I've yeah. done it and I totally agree. It was dilly just, dilly. They, I learned more yeah. in that week that I was yeah. here than I have ever learned skiing yes. in my whole life. And, and another testimony I'd like is, people, there's a big misnomer about taking yeah. lessons. Is that I don't want to take a lesson because I'm just going to stand around. No. You know, no. I don't want to ski, I don't want to stand around. So those of you who have gone through the ski week, Talk to these folks. It's, it's not about standing around. It's not. And it's not just a pure guiding. It's a really beautiful mix of your skiing, your you know your, your pace with the group, mm -hmm. your skiing terrain that you didn't even know existed. I mean, you're going, yeah. wow, I didn't know this run was uh -huh. here. But what I what I what I found when I did it, I didn't have to look at a trail map from the from day one. Right. I go skiing with six people maximum in my class. We're all the same ability. And it's not it's not ski school where they're stop do this. You're skiing with this group in a place where this guy knows your ability. He's taking you to places you wouldn't think of going because you don't know them out like these guys. And they're giving you tips. And you follow them. And, yeah. and occasionally he tells you to do something. Yeah. You know, but usually it's just tips. He watches uh -huh. you ski. Right. He follows you. And he says, try this, try that. But you have a private guide to the mountain the entire friggin' week. It's awesome. Right. And the beauty of it is, is that day after day, so everything that you're doing is reinforced and it's built on. So you start out with building, you know, building blocks like anything, and then you build on that, and you build on that, and you build on that. And Taos, because of our terrain, we have a lot of moguls. Yeah. And so that's a big part of what we evolved into, if that's what the people want to do. But the majority of people, as I mentioned earlier, I'd say that, oh... 75, 80% of our, of our lessons, not just ski week, but of our lessons are um, advanced through expert skiers. Oh, yeah. And, you know, a lot of people just, hey, I, and, and at the very upper end, um, Taos has a lot of hike through terrain. They're going, the reason I want to sign up for this is because I want to ski all that terrain, and I don't want to go there by myself. I don't know how to get there. Right. So it's, it's, you know, it's, it's very That's definitely, secure. very definitely you're, high you're end. Like the seat belt for the and person to go this, down. interestingly, um, on the beginner side of things, we may have one, maybe two, beginner lessons in any given week. The rest are all parallel. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's like, that's perfect for me. They said, like, are you still doing the ski offs? We are, what we're doing. I don't know. Somebody said we'll just keep handling. Well, we do. We do a little bit more verbal than we used to, but we still have the people down. Now, what is a ski off? So a ski off is a ski off is this really intimidating process we put everybody through. Everyone, because everyone's watching. I actually ski better when people are watching. So, so now what it is, is, is as I mentioned exactly. earlier, we try to pair group people together into groups of similar ability, is we ask a few questions at the top, and then we ask Watch. people to ski down, sort of one at a time, about three or four turns apart, and we have one person that's there, and he goes, okay, go over to Roger, go over to Henry, go over to here. Um, and as I said, it is somewhat intimidating for people, but we do then 
when you get to that person, then we go through a little few more questions on, okay, are you, depending on your level, but just for example, um, do you like skiing a lot of bumps? Do you want to really push yourself? Somebody goes, oh, no, that's not me. It's like, okay, well, why don't you go over here? And uh -huh. they split are, it one more time. Yeah. They split it one so more time. So we'll yeah, they're both level seven, so one of our but aggressive level seven. Florida is the first day out for us. Uh -huh. we're not, we're, we don't necessarily have our ski legs. Exactly. So the first day could be very different from day three, four. You know what I'm saying? Well, they split you up. If you I understood. So you can change it after. And, 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 you're, and, you know, and that's, that's kind of the norm. Okay. You know, a lot of people that come out for a week at a time, people that are coming out for a weekend, oh, they're, are, you know, they're right here and there, they're skiing more frequently. People that are coming from New York, Chicago, Florida, oh, wherever. All Florida. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just like. Just, it's, 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 There's a few transplants. It's going to be a great week. You need to come join us. Let's have fun.